Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're rolling here. We've got a dog running around out here. I know what's up here. Come on, Kiki. We've got a new... Say, hello, USA. Hello, hello world. She's a UK dog. She came all the way from England. From Debbie. She's from Debbie in England. So she is a lilac and tan, carries cream. By the way, if you look at a dog, hold her up for a second oh. here. So, hold that for a minute, so I'll hold her up. Okay. So, this is, all right, she's a very small dog. But yeah. you see how white she is? Typically, if you see a tan-pointed dog that has these very white points. Creamy points, yeah. Yeah, that is a, that is a pretty good guess that that dog carries cream. This girl mm -hmm. does. So she is one step from being a platinum, which would be if she had another copy of cream, she'd be a platinum. She is, and she's running around out here, so she's a little bit hot right now. Yeah. Put it's that... humid here. It a lot is. different uh, than the UK. Yes, it is. But of course, she... y'all's hot weather is like 80. We're like 98, yes. 101, feel okay. like 10. All right, Kiki, we'll put you down. We'll put you down. You can run around. She's going to run around. Okay, all right, so here we go. Um... How long should you wait after C-section to start nursing puppies? Edward Herrera. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not a thing wrong with that. Right. Uh, they came out of mama with the anesthetic already in her, and, and uh, as soon as you get them home, and make sure she's aware of what she's doing with your babies, or her babies. Sorry, they are her babies. Remember that. Yeah, that, that we had a conversation with somebody the other day that was very good about that, wasn't it? When it, it Beth, 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 Betty, yeah. uh, Betty, uh, Betty. Um, uh, yeah, they're Degamo. her babies. Bev she said, Beverly. "I tell everybody, Beverly, Beverly right. Degamo. She's been doing it a long time. She gave us good advice, and she said this: they're not your babies till they're weaned. They're that mama dog's babies. The mama. And that comes right when they come out. Yeah. So quite often when we're at and they'll latch on real quick. I so mean, when we go to Ben Ed's. There's times, well, not even Ben Ed's, also uh, Marilyn's. Uh, she'll hook them right up as mama's laying there out of it, you right. know, right after she sews her up. Yeah, she got her sewed up. She's got an intubation tube out. She's coming to stay with us for another yeah. 20, 30 minutes to make sure that she's all doing good. And we'll put babies on right there and there, right there in the, in the surgery room. So when is, it, when is it too early? It's not. It's not. I mean, you just want to make sure that babies don't fall off a table and mum... Mum doesn't even know what's going on as long as you're there to keep track no, of things, right? But keep an eye on Mama after yes. she's had anesthetic when yes. you're doing the babies because she may think something else and yes. not want them nursing. Right. Priscilla Viamontes asks, where do you get that goat's milk? From you. <laughs> well, Walmart sells it. You can buy it three different ways. You can buy whole goat's Powder. milk, powdered goat's milk, which is what Powder's we use. Powdered's great. Yeah, it's you add it on Mama's feed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, condensed goat's milk in a can, and that typically comes. I got my low battery warning. That typically comes from a uh, um, in the cake area, isn't it? The baking supplies. You can buy at pet stores stuff called Espelac, which is basically goat's milk, uh, a powdered goat's milk. You can get that too. Mm. All right. Um, we were talking about Kiki a while ago. It took me from April to get her home finally. Now, uh, just couple of days ago. Yes. Took forever to get her home. Yes. Thanks, COVID. Um, Boss Boy says, great video. How do you get started with something like this? He's talking about collecting semen. How do you acquire the semen? Well, you got to have a dog. <laughs> you got to have, I mean, well, hey, our I dream of genie. Yeah. Beep. yeah. There's your semen. <laughs> our, our, our shipmate is used by humans. I actually had a, one the other day where somebody was uh, uh, a walrus. They were using it for a walrus. Any mammals mm -hmm. get sperm from any mammals, and you can ship it and ship, mate. You gotta yep. have, you gotta have a collect donor. Kiki, there you are. Mama, keep an eye on you. Just like this. What color genetics should I breed my blue French bulldog with brindle to suppress the brindle gene? Sorry, not a non-brindle dog. That's for non -fool. Choose a non-brindle dog. Then what's going to happen is half the litter. Is on average is going to acquire a copy of Brindle from Mum, and then you can you can kind of mitigate how much the Brindle shows up. But one way would be if you've got cream dogs, cream covers everything. You don't even see the Brindle. Merle dogs, a Merle Brindle, you don't see the Brindle. Pied dogs, lots of white, not so much Brindle to be shown. Those are all ways that you can mitigate the Brindle. DNA. How often do you Have feed? Okay, this is uh, Mercedes uh, Quintanilla. How often do you feed the moose at four to five weeks? How often? Yes. 
Twice a day? Three times a day. Three times a day. This is the boss lady, three times a day. Okay. Starter moose, yeah. Starter moose, yeah. I mean, will you put a can out? The, fir the first couple of days, they're not going to hang on to it real good. Uh, well, I say that. I know there's been some to really get after it. It takes them a little while. And then when they do, boy, they're eating it big time. And they'll have, like, these huge pot bellies, won't they? Oh, my I word. Mean, it's, look, they look like they're going to blow up. After they know that it's it's yeah. for them and it's yeah. different than Mama's milk and it's like, they get, this tastes pretty good. Yeah, they, they chow down yeah. a lot. Yeah. I mean, almost the point that you actually want to take it Kiki, away. Kiki, come back here. So, so how often do you need to feed them? Well, when their when their tummies are shrunk back down again, the yeah. end again. So, you know, that might be looking to look at us. That's going to be two or three times a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're going to get mum too during that period as well, probably. So they get a combination of both. She's just right here. Around. Come here, honey. Thank goodness the sun's not out. It's cloudy today, which is very nice. Can you all tell us how this is uh, XDXD? How can you all uh, basically Kiki. show us how to produce morals? So a moral is um, you produce morals by by breeding back to a dog that is moral. A dog that is moral will have one copy, and it will produce that copy in half the puppies. Half of it will be morals. So if you want moral puppies, breed to a moral only on one side. Don't breed a moral to a moral. That's a big bad no no. Get to, yes, okay. Uh, uh, will my will my female continue her heat and bleed post AI? Uh, got nothing to do with AI. It's all got to do with the heat cycle. So dogs typically start showing first signs of blood. We count that as day one. The bleeding keeps on going, and it can keep on going for um, twenty days. Most of the time, uh, the heat cycle lasts for about fourteen to sixteen days. But it varies by dog. Some dogs hardly show any blood at all. Some dogs looks like it's a murder scene. Got nothing to do with the date that you AI. It's just part of the whole process. It doesn't matter whether the dog's been bred, hasn't been bred, doesn't make any difference. It's gonna bleed and it's gonna bleed for as long as it wants to. And that typically is, you know, typically two or three weeks. So you're gonna have to put some panties on, otherwise you're gonna have a mess. I have my panties on. You've got your panties on. My dame is a is at a 15 progesterone level. This is Lucy. My dame is at a 15 progesterone level. Try breeding her today, but but nothing. The male is not interested. Bed said said tomorrow she is ready. The male is not any good. What's going on? Well, I'm not sure exactly what you're telling us here, but let's just talk about progesterone levels. You typically would do an, a vaginal AI or natural breeding on a, on a level of 15, which is typically around day 11 through 13. If you're going to do a surgical or a transcervical insemination where it's put directly into the uterus, you shave a day off those numbers, you do it a day later. Uh, if the dog is not interested, well, I mean, it could be a number of things. The male may not be mature enough. He may not be experienced enough. I mean, you know, have you been practicing with the male? And then a big, big thing that I see a lot of is you let your males and females run around together and they just don't show any interest at all. And in those situations, you need to separate them for at least 48 hours. You didn't hours. have Michael Bublé playing, the Michael candles Bublé lit, playing. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Works for Tammy. <laughs> How far does the AI rod go in? This is uh, Chris. How far does the AI rod go in? I tried doing it in AI, but the rod wouldn't go in it any more than four and a half inches. Is that good or should I have it go in deeper? That's a great question. I think I've ever answered this one. <laughs> So, this person's looking for us, see them go up and down the road. Probably gonna deliver something. Anyway, mm. we'll see what's going on. Um, right, so, of course it depends on the size of a dog. You know, if you are breeding to a Saint Bernard, I mean, you're gonna have a rod that's probably 14 inches long. If you're breeding to a Chihuahua, you'll probably have a rod that's about four inches long. If you're breeding to a Frenchie, we typically use an eight inch rod, and a dog that's really open, you get the entire rod in all the way up to the syringe. How do you know that you get the entire rod in? Well, because it's all of a sudden it goes all the way in. The position of it is up and down. Right? Yes. So what Tammy's talking about is if you've got the dog's butt in the air, you go in like this and over like this. Yeah. And the reason for that is you've got to, there. it, it is kind of shaped like an L and you want to keep away mm -hmm. from the bladder. Mm -hmm. I've got videos specifically how to do this, but the answer is, is you want to kind of take your time, wiggle the rod around with your finger inside her vulva, we're kind of help guiding it. Help guide along and yeah. a bit of gentle pressure and twizzle it around as well. And all of a sudden, it goes in all the way. And, and that typically tells you that the dog is really ready to be yeah, bred. real open. Very, what's called very open. So four and a half inches is not the end of the world. Remember, look, 
a dog's anatomy is not four and a half inches long anyway. So if you've got four and a half inches, you've done as good as a male would do. And if you stick your finger in there and plug everything up and keep her elevated, for a good 30 minutes, you've done as good as nature. If you've got time, do, do a whole 30 minutes. Always. I mean, I always recommend you do the entire 30 minutes. 20 minutes at the least. 30 is great. You want a pregnant dog. You want babies. Uh, Des Torres, fairly new breeder. If all goes well, I have my second litter in October of my stud Hercules. Well, congratulations. We are excited to see Hercules, what you produce. Hercules, Hercules, yes. Hercules. Here's Can't a little wait. bitty oh, he's blue and a tan. small blue and tan, carries chocolate, carries cream, 88. Is he 88? Yeah, well, he may 80, be, 80. Yeah, I think he may be 80, 80. 80, 80. no brain, yeah. no pie. Yeah. He's a really nice little dog. Little really. boy. He is a son, oh, of Zo a son of Zeus. He's, he's stout, he's bully, he's, you know, short. He's got it all. Cobby. So, but anyway, nice. she says, my only issue with nice the crate, head. she's using one of our crate systems. I'm constantly hurting my back and my knees from, from laying down, checking on pups. So, so we know what that's like, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing is we like to use the crate with a double door. It's got a big wide door on the side. You can get half your body in there. If I can crawl on the inside of it, you can too. Right. And if that's still a problem for you, you can always have a little table built up for you. That's what I was going to say. 32 inches high. There you go. Set it right there and save your back. You can always take mama out, put her down. A lot easier than you can. You can even build some steps knees. and mama will go down the steps. Oh, sciatic nerve. I know what you're talking about. Yes, but absolutely get that crate, yeah. crate up to yeah. some reasonable level so you don't have to do that. Well, you don't realize how long you're being down there on the floor like that because you're enjoying. We've both got knee replacements. Yeah, so well, it's tough getting up and down. I'm not worried about that. It, no, I'm not either. You're enjoying the babies, and then when you no. get up, and the next day you're going, oh, my yeah. sciatic nerve hurts. Yeah, right. No, or, get, that, get that thing on the table. Right. Yeah, put right, it on right, the table. Right, right. A safe table. Make sure it's sturdy, not wobbly. Someone here, this is Ashley Edwards, Ask. I've got my DNA. Do you know what this dog is? This dog is, I'll give it to you, A-Y-A-Y. -A -Y. That's, that's a dog that can produce fawns. Big D, little D. It's not blue, but it carries blue. Big E, little E M. It's not cream, and it's got one, and it's one copy of Masterless. N K B. It's got one copy of Brindle. Uh, N S. It has one copy of a Pied. So basically, this is a Brindle dog that carries blue. Uh, somebody's asking, are are these DNA information uh, applicable to rare coloured Shih Tzus? I don't know, but probably yes. What's your contact information? How much? How much your puppies? You want. Uh, my contact information is 580-799-1910. I will text a little bit. Love to have the phone call because if you're interested in my female's babies and my babies too, I'm second mama. I love to visit with you, get a better idea what you're looking for, uh, and we'll go on process from there. And it's www love my pups l-o-v-e-m-y-p-u-p-s dot com cornell moore says i'm following your method today was day six for my dog she's at a 2.2 so typically once a dog has got to a level of one which takes about five days this is the progesterone levels it raises one point a day till it gets to a five around day nine so her dog is at a 2.2 we'll call that a two on day six so a two on day six is a three on day seven is a four on day eight, is a five on day nine. Bingo, regular dog, there it is right there. Ovulates on day nine, two days later you breed day 11. So breed day 11 through 13 if you have no more information. So that is a typical dog Do it right every now. other day. Yeah, and then breed every other day, like Tammy yeah. says, gives you a much yeah. better window of opportunity. Perfect. So if you've got the stud. 11. And 13. And no, uh, it'd be from, yeah, 11 to 13. Yeah, yeah. right. Then it's, you've got first breeding due date, second breeding due date. Remember, let your female tell you when she's ready to have her babies. R&B says, hi there, is there a way to tell if a puppy is blue or lilac without DNA testing? What? Is there a way to tell if a dog is blue or lilac yes. without DNA testing? Yes, yes, you take that puppy when its eyes are open. So sometimes you can tell at three weeks. Yeah. It may be five weeks. But your eyes are sometimes open. Sometimes it's right off the bat. What do you do? You go into a dark room you put your video on your camera with the light on in that dark room, have somebody holding that puppy 
and that puppy's looking around and as it's looking around and usually it's like a side view and when it crosses in front you'll catch that red eye glow yes that means lilac yes it, 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 means, blue cho glow, it means chocolate yes so yeah. if the dog is visually blue and it has a red eye glow then it's lilac yeah it's which lilac. is what we're questioning yeah right, so right. if you see the blue glow it's it's not a lilac the it's best way to tell this is to get all the puppies in a dark room and just take a video oh, of yeah. all the puppies running around because then you can see the well, difference if you want to see individual one no but the point here is is that typically well, when you somebody, can see the difference when yeah. somebody's asking this question they don't know the dna of the parents so then you're in a situation where you've got for instance a lilac bred to blue that carries chocolate you'd expect half the litter to be lilacs if you see half the litter with this red eye glow and half not, you're on the right track. That, that, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Uh, great idea. A oh, welping box. Do you ship to Mexico? We ship all around the world. We ship internationally. We ship anywhere in the world on any of our products. Do it all the time. Hawaii. All the time. Australia now. Where else? Oh, I mean, England. Uh, England uh, I sell. Well, the places I go to typically are Australia, England, uh, Mexico, Guam. Um, Canada, those are, we get those orders literally every day. Um, what's the best medicine? On his products. This is how to, ter how to terminate an unwanted dog pregnancy from Papa de Smoke. What's the best Papa de Smoke? What? Pop de Smoke. <laughs> That's his name, it's Pop de Smoke. Oh, I thought he was, okay. Yeah. So, what's the best medicine for this? I have a fifteen hundred dollar dog got locked up with the neighbor's dog. They let just run around, not fixed yet. Uh, can I file against them to have paid the expense? I, I look, look. Here's the deal: hmm. if you get into a beef with the next door neighbor, you should have kept your dog up. That's why I look. Well, at. I mean, I'm going to say this: look, you should have kept your female. What are you going to do? I mean, you can't let her have the potty. You stay with her. I mean, you got. I mean, if she's in heat, it's just for two weeks. You know. Yeah. It could be, you know, 18 days. I think it's on battery again. Hold on one more time. Yeah. So, but, I mean... Uh, you just keep an eye on this your This is going to be the last question on this one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, look, here's the deal. If you have a beef with someone, go sort it out. Because you're going to court over this stuff is a complete waste of time. Especially on a, you know... A, an expense that's unnecessary that you could have spent on your female. Well, how do you improve damages? Yeah. I mean, you know, you just, you're just not going to get anywhere with this. Yeah. The best thing to do is make friends with the neighbors. Yes. That's always... A, Look, neighbors aren't always the best, but you can make your neighbors better. You can always and take her to the vet and have her taken care of. Yeah, you can always do it. If term, you don't want her to have puppies from us. Right, and so dog. you learn by your mistakes, don't you? Yeah. Right? You, you are you going to you going to marry me again? Keep your eye. On, no. You see, you learn by your mistakes. <laughs> I folks. started to say another word, but I thought, no, I'm. I'm you learn I'm by your mistakes. Camera. So look, I mean, I see this all the time where people have some outcomes that aren't very good. Look, it happens to all of us. Learn by your mistakes. Watch videos like this so you can learn before you make the mistake, of course. But you are going to make mistakes. The secret of the whole thing is, is to try to repeat your successes and don't do the mistakes again. That was a mistake. The mistake was leaving the dog outside unattended. Mm -hmm. Should have been in the house. Mm -hmm. yep. Dogs will smell other dogs and they'll dig under fences and they will go. Oh, they'll chew a fence. They'll they chew will through a fence. Chew they'll a chew fence through a up. chain mail chain link fence to get I, to I've female. heard people having their female in a garage and they chew yeah. through the garage it can happen. door. Yeah, I know, it can yeah. Happen. Right. right. Well, I've certainly heard of dogs in different rooms and they chew through oh. the chew through the drywall. You, yeah. you go in there and you've got a hell of a mess and the dog. This is a responsibility that's on your yeah. shoulders. Right. Keep okay, so we've got 80 minutes in it, so we're going to say goodbye to everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, call Tammy if you want to talk about puppies, 580-799-1910. Call me if you want to talk about Breeding dogs. Studs. Studs. Stud service. Five eight not James pu Chopping. Yeah. Five eight not zero. Not me, I'm puppies. Five eight zero seven nine nine two eight seven three. Please buy our products. They're wonderful. They're so good. And they can be seen at mybreedersupply.com. Uh, got questions, of course, just you can do it right here in the comment section. Um, and uh, enjoy life. And of course the most important thing is stay safe. Make your children mind. And respect your elders. Oh, I was going to say be nice to your puppies, but that's fine. I like those two. Kick your husband around. There you go. Bye, everybody. See ya. <laughs>